Have you ever wanted to be able to style on somebody so badly that they have to reevaluate their entire life? Well, if yes, then you're in the right place. This is Nailed the Trick. This is a rapid fire combo series that teaches you everything from tech chasing, jab locks, footstools, and anything in between. I'm Tricks from Meta of Smash, and let's get into the video. For this Nailed the Trick, we're going to be taking a look at Falco. This is a shine lock setup that does require platform. It can work on any character, but most likely you're going to be pulling this off on mid weight and fast fall characters. As far as the difficulty for this setup, it's not too hard. I give it about a seven out of 10, just for the precision that is needed. As far as inputs, it's not that bad, but you will absolutely pop off if you happen to land this in a real game. So I highly recommend checking this out and trying to add this to your repertoire. So first things first, the most important aspect of this setup is to ensure that you can get your opponent onto the platform. For Falco, he has a couple of different moves that can accomplish this, but in my opinion, down throw is going to be the most consistent. You're going to want to go for this setup at around 70%, but DI in or out can make this fluctuate within 10%. The main reason I had stated before that you're going to want to try this on mid weight, fast fall characters is because they'll have less time to react with regards to teching on the platform. Floaty characters in some cases will have either a ton of time to react or they may even have a chance to jump out of this. Besides getting your opponent onto the platform, you are going to have to try and lock them first with a laser and then with your shine. Both of these are going to be out of a rising short hop. For the sake of consistency, I recommend using two jump buttons to initiate your short hop and then sliding over to the B button for your laser and shine. You'll also notice on screen that I've added some variations of how this combo might turn out if your opponent happens to get knocked off the platform early or if you happen to start the combo with a different move. These moves typically would be either fair from the corner or also down air. At the very least, you can get tremendous damage and send your opponent off stage for an edge guard. And at the very best, of course, this is going to end in a stock. In my opinion, this is an incredibly flashy setup. It's very satisfying and you love to see these types of plays and montages. And with that, that marks our 600th video on the channel. 